Yo, all right. So we just got some fantastic fairy tale spoilers for this week. Definitely what I was not expecting at all. I only have one panel to show you from these spoilers, but it sure as hell is made up by the Reddit post for fairy tale chapter 508 spoilers. You, you just wait to see, guys. You guys got some amazing fairy tale greatness just coming your way with this chapter. Holy shit, I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and start with the panel that we received from our boy Yonko Productions, the main man himself. So basically we see Rogue and Minerva and they look beaten to shit to say the very least. Holy shit, they definitely look like they took a beating from the Historia, but nevertheless, they're trying to assemble the pieces of what could have possibly happened. Because the Historia are actually on the ground and they are gone, they are out, they are knocked out, done. You guys already get it. But nevertheless, they also have Lecter, Froge, Yukino, and Angel by them. They come to the conclusion, though, that it must have been Makarov when he used Fairy Law, seeing as his it eliminates anyone and all people who are considered enemies by the caster. Or was it Fairy Law? Oh boy, you guys already know. I've practically been begging for some of that Larkade greatness. We got some of that Larkade greatness in this chapter. My boy is back. Holy shit. Alright, so Larkade comes in and apparently he is the one who took out the Historia. He apparently did it to repay them. So you can say he defeated some of the soldiers of the Alvarez army. God, this is so confusing. Why would he do that? They're, he's on Alvarez's side. What? Holy shit. But nevertheless, he then says he's going to fight alongside them. What the hell? Larkade is flipping sides. What the hell? Truly some amazing work from Hiro Mashima right here, right now. This is just fairy tale at his prime. I cannot wait to read this chapter. Anyways, though, Kagura then appears and calls Larkade a follower of Zeref. To which he replies, I am not a follower. The Black Mage is my father. Oh my father. Fucking God! <laughs> bombshell after bombshell, that's what this chapter is, bro. I was not prepared for this. Oh my God, I really wish we had more panels, but hey, this is good enough. Reddit makes up for it. I am so sorry I did a piss poor job at explaining these spoilers. I know I already did. You guys can look in the description for the Reddit post that has them. But yeah, I'm so hyped for this. I never thought pleasure or pain could be referring to Larkane. Like, holy shit, bro. It's so obvious now that it was. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that. But nevertheless, I am so excited for this week's fairy tale chapter. You guys already know. You guys can probably tell in my voice. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and show your support. Subscribe if you're new. This chapter chapter is going to be one of the best chapters in a long, long time in fairy tale. Peace.